you read the title, roll the intro. Imagine you're camping and someone asks you to tie down their kayak. Well, you don't have any cellular to watch a YouTube video or Google it, and all you have is a rope. Well, after this video, you might know how to tie a trucker's hitch. All right, so the benefits of tying a trucker's hitch or knowing how to tie one is one, it's just a great knot for securing things together. Two, it uses mechanical advantage, which makes it easier to tie something down because it has like a pulley built into it. And then it also uses a bunch of different knots. So if you know how to tie a trucker's hitch, by definition, you know how to tie a bunch of other knots. All right, so I will do my best to show you how to tie a trucker's hitch. So your first step is getting the right rope. So I have, you know, it's you can see how long it is. It's fairly long, but it's not like, you know, a super long rope and it's pretty good thickness. Um, you want it to be nice and strong. And then for your tools, you, all you're gonna need are your hands. You wanna make sure that they're free of like big jewelry or like, you know, gloves, which are hard to tie things since you wanna make sure they're easy to tie things with. So your first step is to secure your tag end. And this is what it's called, a tag end. You wanna secure it to an object. So in this case, I have a basketball hoop and I have a trusty Honda Accord, 2006, baby. So we're going to use a bowline for this. And you could use like a two and a half hitch, really anything. So for a bowline, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap the rope over itself, not the tag end, but this end coming back. And you wanna do it so that the rope going behind the object is on top. You don't want it to be under, you want it to be on top like that. Then you're gonna take your tag end, you're gonna bring it up through the hole, you're gonna bring it around, and then you're gonna bring it back down. And what's cool is there's kind of like a little nursery rhyme thing is, imagine this is a rabbit, you have it come out of its hole, around the tree, and then back down its hole. That, that's kind of an easy way to remember it if you need help with that. So then you're gonna cinch it tight by pulling on this and then these two right here. So now you have it secured to here. Now you wanna dress this this side. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna kind of lay it down and say, okay, if I tie it here, I think this is gonna be able to be turned into a loop because you're gonna wanna tie a loop somewhere along this line and you don't want it to be too far because then you're wasting a lot of rope but you don't want it to be like under the car and you can't even tie it. So I'm gonna say, okay, this is a pretty good area to try it. So to tie the loop, we're, and again, this is like the first situation where there's a bunch of different knots, but we're gonna do a slip knot loop. So you're gonna place the loop or the rope over itself to make a loop. And again, you're gonna want this part over on top. You don't want it under, you want it on top. Then you're gonna take a little bit of this part of the rope, push it up through, you wanna bring it up and then simply pull it tight. All right, so now you have a loop. And then what you wanna do is you wanna take your other tag end, this is your new tag end, you wanna loop it through the second object. And this is very important. You don't wanna tie it to this second object, you wanna loop it through. And of course, in your situation, you're probably not gonna have a car, but I mean, you can loop it through anything, whether it be an eye bolt, you know, under a roof rack, whatever. So then you're gonna take your tag end, pass it through the loop you made. And then we're gonna cinch it tight. And with this rope, you have a ton of mechanical advantage because think of this as a pulley and think of this as a pulley. So if you notice, when I pull from here, I'm gonna move this a great deal. Like, look at that is, that's like four inches. And this rope only moves like an inch. So there's a ton of mecha a mechanical advantage which makes it easier to cinch something down. So now all you have left is to secure your rope. So you're gonna pull it tight. This is really cool, you can really get it tight. And then you're gonna wanna pinch right here. And normally you could tie it here, but because this is a demonstration, I want you to be able to see it. I'm gonna retie my, well, I'm bleeding a little bit. I'm gonna retie my loop so then it's easier for you to see. So I'm gonna cinch it tight. I'm going to pinch this intersection right here where they meet. You see where they loop? I'm gonna pinch that. I'm gonna take my tag end, and I'm a lefty, so I like to grab it with my left hand. You wanna get on the other side. Thank you. And you're gonna bring this underneath this loop. So what I like to do is stick my pinky under and just kind of grab that tag end and pull it under. So I'm still holding it here, but then I'm just holding it underneath. So it's kind of like, I don't know, like a weird eight. Then I'm gonna take my pinky, pass it through this loop, take my good hand, my left hand in this case, if you're a righty, it's gonna be opposite. Pull the new loop through the old loop and get a, got a nice slip knot. So that was a lot of info, so I'm gonna, just gonna do it again. I'm gonna pinch here, pass it under with the pinky, put your pinky through,
grabbed through one loop, pulled the other loop, cinch it tight. All right, and now that technically will hold, but to double check, make sure your kayak's not gonna fly off, I like to take this loop, pass it underneath, not over, underneath, back over, and then through here, just like so. All right, and now you're pretty much done tying the knot. So what I like to do is, you know, give it a little pluck, and you know, it's kind of loose, but normally you could cinch it down tighter. And then I just want you to know that for a trucker's hitch, the knot is like endless. There's so many different areas where you could use this. So your situation might look a little different than mine. You know, you're probably not tying it to a car and you might be wrapping it around something, you know, compared to between something. You might be doing it around a single object. So you're not even having two objects. So just know that with the trucker's hitch, you're going to have a lot of different applications. But with enough practice and experience, you'll be able to like recognize um, what what the knot is and like where you need to tie the loops. You just need a little common sense. All right, that's pretty much the tying of the knot. So congratulations, you just tied a trucker's hitch. You were following along. So to recap, you want to secure it to the object, tie a loop in the middle, loop the tag end through your second object, back through your middle loop then tie a slip knot to secure the loop and then do a half hitch to just kind of as your insurance knot you know just make sure it won't come out all right thank you for watching now everyone at the campsite will be no yeah there's my youtube now everyone at the campsite will be asking you to tie down their kayak